I'm gonna show you how quickly and easily you can make my adorable gluten-free Oreo peanut butter cup bats. They're made gluten-free with my Oreo cookie recipe with almond and tapioca flour. The bats bodies are made from my healthier five ingredient peanut butter cups and they're all naturally sweetened with maple syrup without any refined sugar or corn syrup. These tasty little bats are delicious and they can be enjoyed by all of your spooky guests, regardless of whether or not they have a gluten allergy. You'll want to begin by making my gluten-free Oreo cookies and I've included a link to the recipe and video at the end of this video as well as in the video description below. But of course, you could use store-bought Oreos if you like. And then you'll want to make my five ingredient healthier peanut butter cups and you'll want to allow time for them to set in your fridge or freezer before you make these bats. And the yummy glue that's going to hold our bats together is chocolate chips. And I've just poured a fourth a cup of chocolate chips into a microwave safe bowl. And then I'm going to put this in my microwave in 20 second intervals until it's melted and smooth. So after two 20 second intervals and a little bit of stirring, my chocolate glue <laughs> is perfectly smooth and ready to go. To assemble our bat, we're gonna start by making a set of wings. So we're just gonna take one of the cookies and then with a serrated knife, I'm just gonna very gently cut through the middle. And then I have a baking sheet with just a sheet of parchment paper that I'll assemble the bats on. And having them on this tray will make it easier to transport them in and out of the freezer. So we're gonna start by setting our two wings upside down on top of our parchment paper. We're gonna place them right next to each other at a slight angle. And then we'll dish up about a half a teaspoon of chocolate. And then we'll just drop it right where those two wings come together. Then we'll take our peanut butter cup and we're going to set it down right on top of that chocolate point. But we're gonna let some of that peanut butter cup hang off the bottom point. And when you see a little bit of chocolate squishing out the sides, you know you have just enough. And then we can repeat the same step to fill up our tray with more bats. We'll just cut our cookie in half, place them upside down on our tray with the tips together, but up at a slight angle. Add about half a teaspoon of chocolate over the two tips of the wings. Rest our Reese's pieces right on top, but let it extend past the tips just a little bit. And on to the next one. Now, after you've filled your tray full of bats, you'll want to put this into your freezer for about 10 minutes just to allow that chocolate to harden and set. So this tray has already been in the freezer for 10 minutes, so now I can add the googly eyes. So you can just flip your bat over, and then we're gonna take a little bit more chocolate, and we'll put it right at the bottom of the tips of the wings. And then we'll take two of our googly eyes, and we'll just press them right into place. And just like that, what was an Oreo cookie and just a peanut butter cup is now an adorable bat. But now you have the difficult decision of how you're going to eat it. Do you start with the wings or do you start with the body? I'm gonna cheat by making a little sample by just throwing a little bit of chocolate and then a little bit of peanut butter cup on top. Now we're talking. That is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Chocolate and peanut butter never gets old. I honestly doubt real bats taste this good. <laughs> Better check to make sure I don't have chocolate in my teeth. The combination of textures from that cookie as well as the peanut butter cup are so delicious. And then getting that extra little bit of chocolate glue in there just makes it even more yummy. And what I love about these treats is that you decide what type of chocolate you want to melt down that can meet your dietary preference. And they're made with all natural ingredients and naturally sweetened with maple syrup. Now of course these are treats so you will need to use some moderation, but at least you know you're eating something with all natural ingredients without any refined sugar or high fructose corn syrup. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me to make these adorable bats. And I've included links to all of the video descriptions below, which leads to my website, gentletumming.com. And if you know someone else who would love to have a healthier, gluten-free, all-natural Halloween treat, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.